In this problem, we're going to make a motion chart for a projectile that moves both up and down and left and right. Let's start off by defining x as horizontal. So that's any motion left and right. And y describes the vertical motion. That's any motion up and down. So while this is the object's real speed, we're not actually going to use that. We're going to use the 30 meters per second upwards and the 21 meters per second to the right in our chart. So in our chart, since y is up and down, that initial value for the initial vertical velocity is 30, and the initial velocity to the right, the x, is 21 meters per second. This is a free fall problem, and since gravity pulls downwards, acceleration is negative 10 meters per second squared. Remember, this cannonball is going to be in free fall as soon as it leaves the cannon. So as the cannon starts to rise, just like an object shot straight up, so think about an object shot straight up, this velocity is going to, the speed begins to decrease by 10. At 3 seconds, the object reaches the maximum height. So at 3 seconds, falls up here, and then it's going to start to move downwards and hit the ground, in this case at 6 seconds, when those two speeds, so the initial vertical speed and the final vertical speed match, makes sense, 3 seconds up, 3 more seconds on the way down, 6 seconds. If yours landed at a different time, remember to fill out all the bottom with 0. Alright, in the inquiry lab, we learned that the horizontal velocity remains constant. So this is going to be 21 down, all the way down, in my problem. All right, that means acceleration is how much the velocity is changing each second, so the horizontal acceleration is zero. These two, ax equals zero and ay equals negative 10 meters per second squared, that's going to be true any time we have an object in free fall. All right, the next part of the problem says direction of motion at two seconds. So at two seconds, the object was something like here. So it was still moving diagonally up and right. Anything uh, past three seconds would be down and right. And at three seconds, we have a horizontal velocity, but no vertical velocity, so it would be right only. Remember, we are rounding to the nearest whole number. We're also defining our positive directions as up and to the right. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our next problem. Once again, we are defining our positive directions as up and to the right. So this time a car drives off a cliff as shown. The car remains in the air for four seconds. All right, so since we are in free fall, The accelerations are 0 for horizontal and negative 10 for vertical. This one's a little bit tricky. So it just shows one initial speed of 35 meters per second. Well, since x stands for the right and y stands for up and down, this 35 is going to be our initial horizontal velocity. Since the car took off from this flat ground, the car was not moving up or down at the start, so the initial vertical velocity is going to be 0. This problem, we're given the time, unlike the last one where we had to figure out where it's going to land. So we can fill out that the vertical velocity is going to get 10 meters per second more negative each second. So negative 10, negative 20, negative 30, negative 40. And the horizontal speed, as always for a free fall problem, is going to remain constant. After one second, so the car is right here, this negative vy tells me the car is moving down. This 35 meters per second is to the right. So the correct answer here is down and right. At first the car was traveling right only and then it's going to be moving down and right for the duration of the problem.